all right guys welcome back to another video and on today's video we're going to be doing a little bit of like a i don't know just a daily vlog because i've not had nothing to film in like two months i've had plenty to film i just haven't picked up the phone to film in uh, anything so today i'm just going over to see my grandparents I probably won't film that because i ain't going to put them on camera and then after that i'm probably going to get to work and you guys already know where i work from previous videos at Walmart pushing carts, sadly. But um, yeah, we're inside the new house. Uh, I've mentioned that a couple times in previous videos. I'm gonna do a house tour more when everything's organized. And then uh, I'm gonna do a pickup tour better of my pickup, the 2005 uh, Cat Eye Chevy. And then from there, uh, who knows? But guys, help me get to 10, not 1000. A hundred subscribers before the end of 2021 because that's my goal and if we can even go past that that would be awesome i want to start uploading a lot more but we'll just see where it goes um yeah so i guess let's go ahead and head to my grandparents and see what's in store for the rest of the day oh. all right so it's only like a half hour or 15 minute drive but we went ahead and grabbed us a mountain dew frost we got the keys Good old step side Chevy. And uh, let's get headed to my grandparents. That is actually false because we still have till that. But I was trying to show you guys the mileage. If that would get off. They just never reset it. But yeah. That's how many miles you got for 2005. That's decent. But uh, yeah. There's a little glimpse. We'll have a better video coming soon with the updates we're going to do and everything. All I know is those are going by definitely because I hate them. Stock mirrors. But yeah, guys, let's go ahead and get headed to my grandparents and uh, see what the rest of this day has in store for us. And I'm going to try to do a few new and cool uh, video ideas, like just during the video. It might be like two seconds long, but I'm going to see if I can do something cool. So. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So it's a few days later um, from when I filmed the first part of this video. But today we're going to be washing my pickup, uh, the cat eye right there. We're going to be washing it and I'm going to film as much of it as I can. Um, I might not get to film a whole bunch, but I'm going to do the best I can. I got to move the pickup over here. So then the water runs down the hill and then I'm going to show you what I do to wash my pickup and how I'm going to detail it today before I go into work. So guys, stay tuned and let's get this pickup looking good. All right, guys, as you can see, the pickup really ain't that dirty, but I want to clean it and fully detail it again, uh, inside and out. I really need to wash my mat. The other mat ain't that bad, but yeah. So we're going to wash her and then uh, probably detail everything on the inside too. And right here's the foam stuff I use in my foam cannon. Here, let's sit it on the bumper. We'll get some cool shots of it. Yeah, I use that for right now. I got my Renegade Products foam sprayer. I was using some of their soup, but I wanted to try chemical guys out. So yeah, that's what we've got. And that's what we're trying out for today. So, yep.
All right, guys, so we got it all cleaned up. We got some tire shine on it, on all of the tires. And then we're going to be using that stuff to brighten this up once again because it keeps getting dull. That's on the to-do list, the paint black and clean up. But, yeah, we got tire shine on all tires. But what's my plan for this? The running boards are definitely coming off. I'm putting toe mirrors on. I'm gonna paint match the toe mirrors. And there goes a big old track. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. But the plan is, like I said, to put toe mirrors on, which I'm getting hopefully this weekend. I might trade with a buddy. That's just up the road that way. But we're doing toe mirrors. We're gonna paint match the toe mirrors eventually. And then eventually, we're gonna paint match the bumper. Rather it's just this and this, or maybe even just this, who knows. But we're gonna paint match it like the bumper the mirrors and then eventually we're going to get black wheels and here soon i have the windows down so it can air out but i'm going to get tinted windows i'm getting a tent strip like right on here somewhere and yeah and i need to work on getting all this stuff off uh it had vent shades back here but the one i forget which one it was was actually like broken you might have been able to see that in previous videos of my truck but we took it off and i still have to get the rest of that off but that'll be done here soon but yeah i think she looks pretty freaking good guys i honestly think she does look pretty good all right y'all so now we are using some of this i just found in my dad's garage lucas tire shine they have a lot of awesome products i use their interiors in red bottle for my inside and i'll show you guys real quick while i let that stuff soak what it actually looks like uh this one right here this is what we use. We've not used this yet, but I'm going to, maybe not today, but that, instead of using that Under Armour stuff or whatever it's called I got, I use that Lucas stuff on here, and it looks to do pretty good. I did my mirror. Um, I did my side step, or my step side. I cleaned this. Oh, it looks good. And then I did my back bumper. And I'm gonna go through and polish the chrome or whatever you wanna call it. And now I got to wipe this off. Look at that, that thing is freaking beautiful. You know, a lot of people have made fun of me. I got like for cleaning my truck so much. Even when I was driving my dad's pickup, that Ram 2500, they made fun of me for cleaning it so much. I was like, well, I'm sorry I like riding around in nice clean vehicles. And like I've always said, because my dad's a truck driver, and it's one thing a lot of truck drivers have always said, is take pride in your ride. And I'll tell you what, I'm taking a lot of pride in my ride because this thing's a 2005 with 85,800 some miles now on it since I've been driving it. You cannot get no much better than that. Like, this is a nice truck. I like cleaning it. I like making it look good because I like riding around in some, I say style, but it's really looking good, you know, because keeping a vehicle clean i mean it looks so good who doesn't love a nice clean vehicle but guys i gotta like this step off i might go through and redo the tires with that stuff just to see if it would make it look a little bit better but yeah guys so stay tuned and we'll get this truck looking clean and go on about our day all right guys but i didn't get to film as much as i wanted to when i was doing more to it but i got the bumper polished the plastic clean, the wheels uh, polished, the uh, steps polished. And yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys, but sorry I did not get to record all of it, but I'm trying to get done so I can go help my buddy and then go to town and get ready for work. So yeah, I'll show you the truck and then I gotta film a TikTok of it cause I wanna do that and then yeah. All right, everybody, get ready to beast your eyes. Man, look at her. Yeah, like I said, I polished the bumper. The plastic still looks fresh. The um, tires are so much more clean. The wheels look a little better. The steps look a little better even though they're coming off. I figured I'd polish the aluminum or chrome, whatever you wanna call it, and clean up the steps. And yeah. Looking pretty good.
I need to put some air in the tires. So I thought I had enough, but I've been reading the pressure and I need to fill them up a tiny bit more. But yeah, back bumper's polished. I wasn't thinking about the lights plate, but hey. But then, yeah, we have it all cleaned up, guys. She's looking clean. Obviously, we polished that one too. This side's a little bit harder to see the cleanness because the sun's on the other side. But you can still tell that she's very, very clean. And yeah. Alright guys, I appreciate you all for coming to check out this video. If you're new, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button before you leave this video. Guys, I truly appreciate the support I've gotten so far on this channel. Which is like 78 followers or subscribers, whatever. But guys... The more subscribers you get me, the more stuff I'm going to do, the more I'm going to film on this thing. Anything you want me to film, I will. But guys, just get me up there and I will do everything or almost everything you want me to do. And yeah, get prepared for videos on this thing coming very soon. Um, yeah, peace out, guys. I appreciate you all for the support. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Have a good day. God bless. Peace out.